What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. It's day one at a new project here and uh, we've just been here a couple hours and you can see we already have a lot done. We're gonna be doing a daily vlog on this one and try to finish this whole thing in just five days. We have a decorator's deck going in with a pergola that's gonna be watertight and we have a Teco Block patio going in. So there's a lot of stuff going on with this, but we planned it out really well so I think five days we should be able to finish all of this keep working efficiently so stay tuned don't forget to hit don't forget to hit don't forget to hit don't forget to hit subscribe we're ready to get started first thing we did as soon as we got here is remove some of the siding and here is our ledger board we're gonna have some flashing over top of this pergola up top it's gonna have a waterproof cover on there so we don't have to worry about too much water issues but we'll still have flashing on this flashing on the pergola make sure that, that stays nice and dry one of the things we like to do is mark those joists like that so there's no confusion. We have two lines, we know exactly where the joist goes, and we like to pre-mark all this before we get that up on the wall so that it just makes it a lot easier. A lot of people watch these videos and they think that we're not using footings on this. These are called helical piles. They're about seven feet long and they get screwed into the ground until they reach a certain torque. And then you know that they're good and they're set. Yeah. Super resistant to frost heave and we don't need an inspection with these. We can get them installed. They provide an engineering report and then we're good to go. You can see we've also got this area dug out. We've got about six inches out of here. We've got our geo grid down on the ground. Special for this project, we're gonna be laying Teco block over top of this concrete patio. We don't do this a lot, but this slab is very old. It's been here for a long time. It's got very minimal cracking, so we know that it's in good shape and it's not gonna have a lot of settlement down the road. So we feel confident using this as our base. And we have Teco block Everest and West Mount going in here, really cool pattern that's gonna transition right here to stepping stones that lead over to the fire pit area. So we have these footings on the outside. You can see we already have this beam in here. We got a double two by 10 and we just sink these in with some GRKs into our helical pile. On the outside, these are gonna be for our six by six posts, which are gonna support our pergola. See, we already have the siding removed up there. That's where our ledger board for the pergola is gonna be. And we're gonna get these cut down low we're gonna notch in our double two by 12 beam here, and that's gonna support our deck and the pergola. When you're building it like this and you have six by sixes that are supporting a pergola and a deck, you need to calculate your loads so that these footings are rated to handle not only half of the pergola load because half of it is going to be held by the ledger, it also has to hold the mid span between that beam and our end beam. So make sure that you calculate that because these footings are gonna need a little bit extra load to hold that in. How are you making out with the staining? Fantastic. Pat's working on staining these frames. We had this figured out beforehand. This is something that can be done kind of at any point. When somebody's not busy, we can hop on these. Scooter pre-built these frames. These are gonna be raised lattice panels. We're gonna have LED strip lighting inside, so it's gonna like glow. It's gonna look really cool. So we've already assembled these to the exact size that we need. Pat is staining them, and then there's also gonna be trim that goes on the front, and we've got that figured out as well, so when somebody gets some downtime, we can use the decorator's coaster boards, cut them, pre-assemble that frame, put it right on top of there. It's gonna be really sweet. Again, we're using the zip level. We use this a lot, and I'll just show you how this works here. You can see, it's at 19 and 5 eighths. And this measures our elevation. So you can just move this anywhere that the cord runs. Make sure that the base stays in the same spot. And now I move it here. On top of this joist, we're at 27. So it's about an eight inch difference. And uh, it's really that simple. So we use this thing a lot. It's about $800, I think, but well worth it. We prefer it over a laser for a lot of these tasks. Now that we have all of these frames all stained up, we stained them black so that they just disappear. We have these privacy panels, which are gonna go on top of this to create this raised decorative panel. That's gonna go on the outside of the bar, which will be on this corner of the deck. These will also get wrapped with Costa around the outsides, and we're gonna do an LED strip inside of here so that the back of this just kind of glows the whole thing. It's gonna be really cool, so 
this is one of those things that we can have planned out even though it's day one instead of waiting for the bar to be up measuring stuff we can figure this out beforehand and these will all be done they can just go right up moving along pretty good we got all of our joists going up here you can see we have this beam installed what we did was notch this six by six so that one of these is bearing on the six by and then we'll have through bolts that go through this but it's looking good what do you got to do with each joist scooter crown them crown them there you go we crown these take a look down the length of this and then one of them will have a slight bow to it and you want to have that facing up so that if it ever sags it's just getting closer to being totally flat what do you think about that We got our setting bed going down here and you can see we have our screed pipes. We've got this 3 8 clean stone setting bed. So uh, we're gonna finish this up. We've got most of it over this concrete slab. Again, this concrete slab has been here for a long time. It's in really good shape. So I don't think it's gonna be settling anymore. I wouldn't recommend doing a patio that continues past that base onto a different base. But here we're gonna have stepping stones that are separated from the patio so they can be independent of each other in case they have some slight movement down the road. It's not gonna be a problem at all. How you doing? How you doing? Don't try this at home. Wait till Operational Safety Hazards Association gets their hands on this shit. What's up, everybody? Pat, what do you think? How did we do for uh, day one? Absolutely crushed it. I, don't I think would agree. Possibly done any better. Well, I wouldn't say that. There's always room for improvement. No, not on this case. This is perfect. Pat's not going to get any better than this. Nope, it's all downhill from here. Well, let me show you what we did. We've got this whole deck all framed out. We have one more bay that we need blocking in. We have our posts up, notched. Beam is installed, siding is down for our pergola ledger which will go in tomorrow. We've also got this entire patio ready for pavers. And we're gonna be doing the Everest by Teco Block with a West Mount inlay. We've got decorators Costa and Kaya here. We've got a bar going up. I've got these pretty much fabricated. You can see it's just a two by four frame, stained it black so it disappears. This will have Costa around the outside and these are gonna go around the bar that's gonna be on that corner of the deck. Here's a little sneak peek for the special attraction. LED lighting inside these, so it's gonna be like a backlit frame. It's gonna make it look really cool with this pattern on the uh, privacy screen. So that's day one. We pretty much knocked it out of the park. I don't think we could have done much more today. Not every day is gonna go this smooth, so five days is still gonna be pretty tough. So hit subscribe, stay tuned for day two, and this is Premier Outdoor Living.